Hello and welcome back to Fairhead and it is now August uh, first uh, August 1 in year 4 uh, last time we did some whole crop um, silage I still haven't fully compacted it so that is a job that does still need finishing preferably in this in game day but the important job for today is we need to get all of the equipment and all of the other stuff from the old farm and then we can get that sold and concentrate them fully on uh, Fairview Farm. So we're on our way down there now. I'm going to use the old baler to bale up the straw swaths that we got from the field of um, wheat that we did there. You can just see it in the top left corner. And then we're going to bring as much of the equipment back up to the new farm as we can. And then we're going to sell all of the land over there and then we can just, like I say, concentrate on that one area. Once that's done, we'll be getting both, well, two grass fields cut, ready to be tedded for hay, because we need to make sure we've got plenty of hay over winter, and we might need to do another field of silage bales, but in September we will be chopping the corn or maize to get maize silage, which should give us plenty, and we will be replanting corn fields and doing that as quite, quite a regular thing. So I've got quite a long trailer on my back here, I'll just make this a long sweeping turn, that should do it. So we're going to drop the trailer off next to the field, because we will be uh, picking the bales up pretty much as soon as we're done. And then we'll grab the, uh, of the old baler. One thing we do need to do is pay the £86,000 for the new baler that we've got. I have decided we're going to keep it, but again, that'll be something we do after we sell this farm. So let's take that off there. We will be selling that little water tanker that we were using. That's another piece of equipment we don't need. And the old baler is again something we will be say, say, selling, but we will be, use it one last time while it's over here. It makes sense. So we'll grab this. There's not actually that much to take. That windrow can go. That weeder will be kept. There is some bales there. So they'll come in handy. So we just need to basically clean up, pick everything up that we can, and get out of here. So I'll get ready to get this done, and I will see you in a moment once everything's bailed and probably picked up as well. It's not going to take a long time at all. Okay, so we've got all the straw baled up, just picking up these bales, and what we're going to do first of all, before we think of moving anything back to the other farm, is everything that's over here that we can pick up with this, we're going to do, and then any of the equipment that we don't need, we're just going to sell it straight from the farm, we're taking one piece, I do apologise if you can hear little kids in the background by the way, they are upstairs just outside this door next to me, so they can be a little bit loud. Um, yeah, I, where was I? I went off a little bit uh, astray there. 
yeah so we'll be selling all the equipment we can from here rather than driving back and two to the store with one piece of equipment at a time so we've got these straw bales we've got some grass bales down it oh god that's steep yeah grass bales down here yes we have yeah i don't think he'll pick the round ones up as well which is a shame but it happens so that is all the bales that we can pick up for now so let's look in the store uh, what we own so trailers we'll be keeping both of them they might both come in handy uh, the baler <clears throat> we don't need this anymore so it can go we will be paying for this baler very soon we own quite a few bits for animals we'll sell this tanker because we don't need it we've got a milk tanker we've got the feed mixer and we've got the straw blower as well so that's that the weeder we will keep for now the old windrow where are you this one we shall sell that one I'm wondering if we can get a bigger bucket for the telehandler or even a silage fork see if there's anything in the sale for us that might come in handy some manure spreader it's a shame we don't have a manure um, pit that's a big windrow 17 and a half grand oh right so that leaves us with up here equipment wise we need to come and get the telehandler bucket we need to get the red trailer, plough, a couple of bags of lime and seed, another load of lime, the cultivator, weeder and a few bales there, there's the bucket like I said, we have the back of the cedar, some square bales there which we'll go and pick up in a moment, there's nothing in here that we need and we do have all of this which is I believe maize so it might be worth coming and grabbing that as well so we'll get the bucket and then fill fill this trailer up I guess with the telehandler so yeah I'm gonna come and grab the rest of these bales out of here with the class get them up to the other farm and I will come back with a telehandler I should think so let's do that. Alright, so we've got most of the stuff moved. I've got the Massey and the Class ready to bring up in a few minutes. To bring uh, a trailer and a plough. And then all we've got is the rest of the cedar to pick up. And then we can actually sell the old farm. And pay off some of that massive loan we got to buy the new one. I don't know if we're going to pay it all off. Or whether we're going to treat ourselves to some new equipment. I think we should do the new equipment thing because it's always nice plus I really want to buy a JCB fast track I really enjoyed using that one in the last episode and I think it would come in very handy and we'll probably swap out the class tractor because um, I really don't think we'll need that and the fast track and I, the Massey is fairly new so we'll be keeping hold of that for some time yet yeah. So we've got 15,000 litres of fresh maize. Uh, this will be ready to go in the pit fairly soon. But for now, I can just wait in this trailer and book it. Because I really need to clear, clear out the second clamp ready for when we do that harvest as well. But that will be done in probably September 1. I don't know if we're going to manage to do any hay today. It looks like it's going to rain. We'll actually check when it's going to rain now. Uh, where is it there? It's actually saying it's going to snow at the end of the month. And we've got till 3 pm. And then we do have sunshine, so we might get some hay out there in the evening. So it might not be all bad. We'll just have to wait and see. Not looking forward to snow in August, though. That's really strange. We really need to make sure we get this, uh, <laughs> this hay up then as soon as possible, I would have thought. Well, there you go right so what we're going to do is basically just dump these in the yard for now we've got 
things that we need to do and we need to do fairly quick. Um, really need a good tidy up and put everything away as soon as as well. We can. Right, so that's the Merlot done with for now. I think I left the engines running on these two tractors. Yes, I did. Don't think the mass is following. No, it's not. Don't know why. Follow me never seems to want to work when there's not a job to do. Oh well. Right, so I'll get these two tractors down to the other farm, pick up the bits that we need, and I will see you there. Okay, so we are pretty much clear. There's a few bits I will have to come back for, but I'm happy with this now. We can actually get on and sell. So let's do that now. Uh, nope, I want to go into land. Which is here. And we want to sell all of this. 728,000. Sell. Done. Right, so what I am going to do is... I don't think we can actually sell the outside land. No. Uh, I'm going to change these two back to painted grass as well. Only because I don't want it affecting um, precision farming. So we'll have to just keep a rough idea of how much it cost. Uh, where is it? Uh, is there a free mode? No, not really. And we'll make it a round brush. Okay, so that is done. We'll just go and have a quick drive up there and have a quick look, see what it looks like. Hopefully it all looks okay. There's a couple of bits there. I think it's because it actually crossed over boundaries that we couldn't paint it. But the fields that we did and harvested are now back to grass for whoever needs to be here next. And hopefully that won't affect... Yep, they're not showing up on the minimap, so it shouldn't affect any precision farming or anything like that. So, we're all done with this farm now. So the next job is the loan. How much do we owe on the loan? 790,000. I think what we should do is pay at least 350,000 off. Which leaves us £621,000 to play with. We'll probably pay more of that off to be honest. Um, but there is a couple of things I want to do and I want to buy. So first off, that windrow is probably too big for this map. But I really want it, so I'm very tempted. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll, do, we'll do some tractor shopping in a minute. I'll get this back to the other farm first. Okay, so we are back. The old farm is gone. We're going to treat ourselves to a new tractor. Now, last time, in the last episode, we actually used uh, this, I think it's slightly older JCB fa Fast Track than the base game one, which is a 4220. This is a 3200, or a 3230. What's its horsepower? 230 horsepower. different interior designs what am I, what's the oh is it just the uh, the beacons on the top of that yeah so I don't know whether it, I do like this it's a lot cheaper than the other one is there anything else that might look good I mean I do really want a fast track Front loader, we don't need that on it. And the Asaria Pro. Which would come in handy because we are doing precision farming, as I have said. 
So 231,000 or 170. And I think it's going to be the mod, the 3220. Uh, 3230 even, we'll go for. A little, little bit older. I kind of like the look of it anyway. So 170 with... Yeah, why not have a light bar on the top? Because why not? So we are going to buy that. And... Because we're actually still leasing a windrow, I'm going to return that. And that one that's in the sale is just too good of a price to to miss. So we're going to have that as well. And last but not least is the... We own the class, which I think will be going... So I'm going to go and pick up our new GCB tractor and windrow and I'll meet you back here when we have a look at it. Okay, so we are back and I thought, you know what, we had a look at this last time, we know it's a decent tractor. So we're going to get it straight to work and instead of using the Massey to mow this field and the other one above it, we'll use the GCB. And then what we'll do, once this field is mowed, we'll get the uh, Ford straight onto Tedding so that we can use our nice big massive new windrow to row it all up as well but we might have to just get everything mowed and do the tedding afterwards looking at that weather if we can get the mowing done before then we can always turn it after so i'm going to get this done and i'll see you shortly Okay, so we have mowed both of these fields, and if I remember rightly, look at, let's look at the time. I'm sure it said 3 o'clock. Uh, that rain's going to come in. Yeah, so we're about to get rained off, so I'm not even going to bother start heading this, uh, to start heading this until after that rain has stopped. We will be using the Ford for that. We've only got a small tedder anyway. We don't need anything silly to do that with. So let's park this in the yard. And since we know we're about to get rained off, I'm going to go and have a quick look up at the cornfields. I should probably turn that off to see how they're doing. 
because they should be ready in September to be chopped. But we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to have a look. We can go up this road. So it's nice and close by. These should look pretty good now. Should be growing nicely. We shall see. Oh yes. So these are getting pretty tall. Let's just quickly jump into flight mode. Have a quick look up. Oh yeah. These are looking good. This should be plenty of feed for the cows. Quite large fields, especially with maize. So they both needed rolling, but they didn't get that. They're going to yield quite well. They're not going to yield the best, but they're going to be good. Excellent, right. So, that'll be September's job. Hopefully, as long as we don't get too much snow. Pretty sure that's what it was saying, wasn't it? August 2, September 1. Oh, it's just rain and snow. Can't wait. That's not good. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all rain and snow, so that isn't good. So really, we need to get rid of this little bit of rain that we're going to have this afternoon. Uh, that is, unfortunately, all I've got time for today. Um, but next time, we'll carry on straight from here. Got plenty of slurry adding up in there. If you enjoyed the episode, please do like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more on Fairhead. Now we've got rid of the old and we've brought in the new. Goodbye.